Hi, my name is Ted, and today I'm going to show you how to copy a formula into multiple cells in Excel. I have a spreadsheet set up here with um, a couple of different columns, X and Y, and I'm going to enter a formula into the Z column. Uh, so let's just make up a formula. As in any formula, we start with an equal sign. So I type equals and then I click on um, X and let's say we want to do X squared. So I'll do the, the uh, square uh, the exponent symbol and a two. And then let's add, uh, just for fun, let's add Y cubed. So Y and the exponent symbol and a three. And we hit a return. And there's the uh, result of the formula in cell C4. Uh, now let's, we want to copy the formula into all of the other nine cells and it's, it's very simple. All you do, we could go up and we could say copy and then paste, but there's a nice trick that you can do that's much simpler, which I highly recommend, which is to move the cursor until it's at the bottom right. And let me just scroll in so you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, you want the symbol to change to a solid plus like that. And when it does that, then, then click it and hold the mouse down and drag the cursor down until you get to the bottom of the cells that you want to uh, copy and, and you're done. The, the cell, if we start in cell D, uh, excuse me, C4 and start scrolling down, we'll see that the formula up here in the, in the, in the formula bar right here uh, automatically updates. So it started out referring to A4 and B4 and then A5 and B5 and so on and so on. So that's a very, very quick way of, of doing it that, that I use all the time. Now you may have noticed that I have another number up here and I say A equals 10 and I did that intentionally. What I want to do is show you something else that, that's very important when you're, when you're doing a lot of work with formulas in Excel. And that is to, um, let, let's say we want to use that number 10 in our formula, but we want it to be the same. We, it's not like the X's and the Y's where it's a different pair of numbers that we use on, for each value of Z. We always want to use this value in cell B1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the original formula I typed in um, up here, and I'm going to uh, put my cursor in the formula bar, and I'm going to say, let's say we want to add that number. So plus and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on cell B1. Now, you may anticipate what's going to happen now when I go to copy that formula down. It's going to change, it's called a relative reference. When I copy it down to cell um, C5, it's going to look for cell B2. And, and let me just go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit return and we're going to copy the formula down and into cell C5. And, you, and now we're going to click in cell C5 and it's looking for something in B2, which there's nothing there. And if we were to go down to the next one to B3, it's going to try to do something with this Y. So, so clearly that's not what we want to happen. We want to always refer to cell B1. So I'm going to do an undo because I didn't want to enter that in. I'm going to go back to the formula here and I'm going to, I'm going to what we want to do is we want to make B1 a, an absolute reference, a, a, not, a, not a relative reference. And to do that, it's it, in Excel, if you use the dollar sign before the row reference and the, and the column reference, it means when I, when I copy that formula, I always want it to be that, that exact cell. So I type, type a dollar sign before the, a D and a dollar sign before the one, and I hit a return. And now when I go in, and, I, and, and what you can do is you can do just what I did, the first thing I showed you, is go to um, cell C4, make the cursor change to the solid plus sign, and drag it down. And now, it's not a very interesting formula here, but if we go down to the bottom here, and actually this is something else that's good to know, if you double click on the, on the cell that has a formula in it, you, you, it's gonna highlight the cells that it uses. And you can see it still uses B1. Um, so, so what we wanted to do worked. Um, in that we, we, um, we copied the absolute reference. In other words, we use cell B1 for all of the, in all of the uh, formulas. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to copy a formula into multiple cells in Excel. Thank you for watching.